Hey everyone, this is Sunny Ride and Tech or Sunny 60D. I am Sunny, and this would be my first YouTube video after a year of inactivity and the first step into making tech content on YouTube after making them on TikTok. With demand from TikTok and Reddit user, I have finally tried making YouTube videos again. And this time, I would like, a, I would like to make a review of my main laptop, which is my ThinkPad. T14S Gen 4 AMD. Before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you like and share this video, comment your thought on this after you watch the video, and subscribe to this channel, especially if you have seen and enjoyed my TikTok videos. Or if you haven't, you can check it out in the link in the description and go follow my TikTok channel too. Just a heads up. You can enable closed caption in the top right corner of the video if you prefer to. I have to admit that I have that Thai accent and I sound kind of like an average Linux user. So yeah. And you can choose a timestamp in the description or a chapter to skip to a specific topic that you are interested in. Anyway, let's get right into the video. First thing first, I want to talk about the unboxing and my first impression of this laptop. If you ever wonder how the packaging of the new ThinkPad is like, here it is. I have gotten this laptop on December last year as a new laptop from my university with its following configuration. My previous laptop was a ThinkPad X13 Gen 1 AMD. And while it is still performing well and okay, I find some of this con to be major enough to be a deal breaker for my further workflow and career. And I had to give them to my mother. Plus, I got a nice discount for the T14S. Since this is now a one year old model that is still sold on Lenovo Thailand website. So I didn't hesitate to snatch one for myself. Now, the T14S Gen 4 AMD is a really modern ThinkPad. And even if it is so much different from the classic ThinkPad, especially from the late IBM or early Lenovo era that people know and love, I can confidently say that the T14S is still up to standard of ThinkPad name and still include the black red color accent, the track point, the physical button for the track point, and a great keyboard. Even if it is now a six row secret style system switch keyboard, with a 1.5mm key travel, which I somewhat prefer. Now, let's talk about the design and build quality of the ThinkPad. The T14S Gen 4 AMD is a thin and light 14-inch laptop, coming in at only 16.9 thickness and starting at 1.26 kg in weight. On the port configuration, on the left side, you get two USB 4, USB-C port, one HDMI 2.0, one USB 3.2 always on USB, and a headphone jack. On the right side, you get an optional smart card reader, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, the fan, exhaust, and a Kensington Nano Lock. On the back, you can have an optional Nano SIM card slot reader though I didn't choose it in my configuration. Now, on to the material use. This laptop has a magnesium alloy and soft touch coating on the palm rest, the chassis, and the bottom cover. On the top though, it has a carbon fiber reinforced polymer, so you can get the lightness of the carbon fiber while still have more strength with the help of the plastic. It also had the metal hinges, which is pretty strong. And on the initial expression, this laptop, while being thin and light, is really durable. Especially when compared to its counterpart, in this case is the regular T14. This is my brother, T14 Gen 3 Intel. And in comparison, the T14S has a better build quality and material use when compared to the regular T14. Though the T14 has an RJ45 Ethernet port, while the T14S doesn't have it. 
Now let's talk about the performance of the ThinkPad T14 F Gen 4 AMD. This is where like we really look into this laptop to see if this is actually cooking or if you are a cook after purchasing this laptop for the use case. With the configure AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 7540U with AMD Radeon 740M integrated graphic and 32GB LPDDR5X RAM it is an average CPU aimed for light usage and low power. If you are looking to squeeze a bit more performance of the laptop though, you can choose the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U with AMD Radeon 780M integrated graphic. If you really want a higher performance machine though, you will quickly find that the actual power of this laptop leaves much to be desired, which is Understandable, this is a thin and light laptop. It's not a mobile workstation. It's not a gaming laptop. What do you expect for light to medium usage? For example, web browsing, office work, school or university lectures and work, coding and compiling, and even photo editing and a little bit of video editing. The T14S Gen 4 AMD will have you covered, though the laptop will struggle and throttle a lot on high usage, such as editing a 4K ProRes video, or using it under a high workload, something like that. For gaming though, the iTPU is good enough for not so demanding game. I get 60 FPS within lock on Sky Children of the Light with max graphic. I get 40 to 60 FPS average on Grid Legend with low graphic and medium shader. And I also get around 60 FPS on Tetris Effect Connected. But you should be doing good enough for some light gaming. You can play Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Counter Strike, Half Life, Scary Mod, whatever you name it, if it's not that demanding on the T14S Gen 4 AMD. Let's talk about the display. For my configuration, I chose a Mac 1200p 16x10 14 inch display with low power usage, 60Hz refresh rate, 400 nit brightness and 100% sRGB color coverage. Around, that is an approximately 72% NTSC and 79% DCI-P3. It is the highest configuration of the IPS display for T14 S Gen 4 AMD without going for OLED option. As a photographer and a content creator, a display with color coverage at least 99% sRGB is somewhat crucial, and I am still surprised that Lenovo still offer 45% NTSC panel as a base option. I know, I know, ThinkPad are business laptop, and average employees won't care about display that much, but Lenovo, come on! Anyways, the display is really great for day-to-day -day use and not so power-hungry. The 100% sRGB coverage upgrade is good for creative work and I can now make sure I see the same color on a photo that my client will see. And the matte 400 nit display is a step up from the base 300 nit, allowing you to work in broad daylight and still make sure you actually see what is on the screen there. For a calibrated display color profile for Linux, you can download the profile from the ThinkPad T14S Gen 3 AMD Arch Wiki page in the description. This ensures better color accuracy for media work and overall usage. Speakers have always been a weak point for ThinkPad laptops, but the T14S Gen 4 AMD managed to improve the experience a bit. With a top facing speaker, the mid and trebles are good, but the bass is disappointing considering the fact that this laptop doesn't include separate woofer speaker. Fortunately, the DAC is still good, so you can enjoy good audio quality with your favorite headphone or IEM. Though I do not have high impedance headphone to test its power output. On Windows, you can enjoy the Dolby Atmos Tune Convolver, but you can also download the Convolver file from the regular T14 Gen 4 AMD Arch Wiki page in the description, import it into Easy Effect, and enjoy better speaker quality on Linux-based OS. The configure webcam 
It's a 5 megapixel camera with IR sensor for Windows Hello or Hardy or Linux, fixed focus, and a physical built-in webcam charger. In a good lighting, the webcam provides a good yet average output. It also features a dual microphone setup to ensure good quality input in a video conference. The efficiency of ThinkPad T14S Gen 4 AMD is good for an x86 architecture CPU. The average wattage draw on power saver mode of GNOME built-in power profile, 35% brightness, and Bluetooth disable is around 2 to 3 watt. And on basic usage, it is kept in 2 to 3 terminal window, Firefox, and an office suit. The average water draw is around 4 to 5 watt, and around 7 watt if you are using balance mode. The battery life is excellent, with 14 hours on idle and 9 hours on typical basic use. I use a battery charging threshold, which you can enable with Lenovo Commercial Vantage on Windows, GNOME extension if you are using Linux distro with GNOME version prior to GNOME 48 or enable the charting threshold option in setting app on GNOME 48, which lock the threshold at 80% and is uncustomizable. And this is the first time that I can comfortably and confidently leave the charging threshold enabled while ensuring that I will have enough battery life to go through a work day or take it with me on a travel photography session and don't have to bring a charger back with me all the time. On to Linux compatibility. The ThinkPad T14S Gen 4 AMD is certified for Ubuntu or Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and you can purchase the laptop with either Ubuntu or Fedora pre-installed. So I am happy and pleasure to say that this laptop is ready for you to install your Arch and Hyperland rights on this machine. Talking about the thermal and noise of this laptop, on light and normal load, the laptop stay cool and sometimes the fan doesn't spin at all, at least on my experience with Ubuntu LTS. On high load, the laptop can get really hot with the CPU temperature reaching up to 80 or even 90 degrees Celsius. Some owners of the T14S Gen 4 report fan coil whine, but I have yet to notice this issue on my own unit. Now let's talk about the upgradability and repairability, which is my least favorite aspect when it comes to this laptop. The ThinkPad T14S Gen 4 AMD is somewhat disappointing when it comes to upgradability and repairability. The laptop itself is easily serviceable because it can access every removable part by just taking off the bottom cover and other two you need are a screwdriver and a plastic prior. You don't have to disassemble the whole laptop just to take out the fan and clean it anymore. Though the RAM and Wi-Fi card are unfortunately soldered, not to mention that the keyboard is a hassle to disassemble and now requiring you to take out everything and unscrew hundreds of screws to take them off if you don't want to replace the entire palm rest. Now for my use case, I am a student starting computer engineering major in university soon. And I am also an open source contributor, a content creator, and a photographer who mainly does portrait photography for my client and landscape and travel photography as a hobby. I seek a thin and light yet durable ThinkPad with great display, build quality, and premiumness comparable to MacBook Air while still being able to use Linux. I find my ThinkPad T14S Gen 4 AMD to be suited for my use case, and I have been enjoying this laptop after several months of uses. So, if you ask me if you should buy this laptop or not, I would say that if you are looking to buy a 14 inch ThinkPad that is more premium, thinner, and lighter than regular T14, but don't want to pay a hefty price tag for the X1 Carbon, and you don't think that the soldered RAM and Wi-Fi card is a huge deal breaker? I really recommend this ThinkPad for you, especially if you get a nice discount for it or if you get it on a second-hand market. If you can get it new on Lenovo web <clears throat> If you can get it new on Lenovo website though, 
be sure to select the premium support warranty for it will be so pricey to upgrade after your purchase. And that's all for today's video. To be honest, I didn't expect the quality or the production to be that good because let's be real here, this is like my first time making video like this. But I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do making them. And that's all. Sunny out.